the biggest learning lessons. As new parents, we thought that it would be pretty dope to share some of the biggest learning lessons that we have learned and experienced thus far, and we want to share with you guys. So with that said, let's talk about it. So as you know, or if you don't know, if you're new to our channel, we are new parents. Yes. Our, our baby is four months old or almost four almost months. Almost four months. He's not even four months yet. Almost four months old. Right and it's really corner. crazy because time is flying. I mean, mm -hmm. it just seems like it was yesterday where our baby was a newborn. And now just a couple of days ago, we were putting him in a high chair. So it's like, wow, the time really does fly. And with the four months that we've experienced, there's a couple of big learning lessons that we've learned and that most people and most parents can relate to. And I think the number one thing that I would say personally that was a big learning lesson for me is understanding the value of patience. Mm -hmm. Patience is huge. Patience is good for your own life. It's good for your relationship, for your marriage. But then when it comes to patience with your child, man, it's so important because they are, they are new to the world. They're literally new to the mm -hmm. world. And they have no other, they completely rely on you. Yeah. So with their reliance on you and you having to be their sole comforter, their sole person to provider, pro everything provider and just knowing that they can't talk all they, all they know is to cry. You yeah. Know? The crying is, um, their first language, you know, crying is their only form of communication. They mm -hmm. can't tell you they're hot, they're hungry, they're cold. Um, they're overstimulated, all of these things. And so their way to communicate to the world is simply by crying. Right. So um, like you said, it does take a level of patience um, to deal with, you know, new changes and, and things happening. Yeah. With the and, baby, and personally, I would be trying to communicate. Exactly. And I would say that you have transitioned into this very well as a mother and your prior experience with nieces and nephews and stuff mm -hmm. i feel like her experience with being patient with kids or with babies like newborns and and young ones has been a, a lot easier for her than it has yeah. been for me or at least <laughs> from the outside looking in i don't know but from my yeah. perspective um she is a lot more patient than I am. And that's something that I'm learning, continuing to be in this new role as being right. a father and being a parent. Um, so yeah, patience is huge for me. Yeah. And I think most parents can really relate to that. Uh, mm -hmm. Patience. Yep. Another lesson that um, is very important becoming new parents is time management. Ooh. So I think that Today is a prime example of that because we tried to film like an hour ago and yes. it was an epic fail <laughs> because we didn't realize that, true. you know, us trying to film also kind of intersected in the time where Jordan takes his nap. Yeah. So he was very tired. We wanted to have him on camera, um, but he wasn't having it. He was like, nah, I'm he tired. He was not and having it. He was <laughs> not having it at all. And then we also had Journey who wanted to be the star of the show for uh -huh. the first time. And so... You know, being able to juggle so many things at once. So it's kind of a mm, a, two, a twofold yeah, thing. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, you know, being able to juggle many things at one time and then also understanding how to manage that time right. that you have. You know, we're not in a space where we could just get, get up, up throw our clothes on and go. Now yeah. we need to plan like an hour in advance, like what it is that we need to do to get the baby ready, to get ourselves ready, make sure we have enough milk and that, yeah, it's a process. <laughs> that is such an incredible point. And I hope all new parents are listening to this. Yeah. And if you're not a new parent, if you're a parent, two, three, four year old kids and whatever, I'm sure you can relate. You I'm can sure relate. you can relate because yeah. now that we are in this new space, mm -hmm. like she said, we can't get up and go. I mean, it already took a long time for her to get ready to get out the door. If she was going somewhere, I'm like, Please. come on, man. Like, we, we we supposed to be there at three and it's already three thirty. <laughs> Oh, that is a lie. That's no, a lie. No, no, I no. do have good. I'm good with showing up on time. I will say that living in Miami has changed that a little bit because nobody is on time here. Really, that's true. That's true. But no, I I think that I'm pretty prompt. Okay, I I sliced a little. There bit. are moments where I am running behind. Yeah, you. I sliced a little bit, and that's <laughs> DMV slang. If you don't know what slice means, I mean, that means basically exaggerate. It. Exaggerate. Um, but. 
what I'm trying to get at. I wasn't trying to throw shade on my wife right there. I was really just trying I to. I call shade. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it's just different in parenthood. With a baby, it's like, okay, we got to prepare the stroller. Do we have milk? Do mm-hmm. we have clothes? How long are we going to be out? There's yeah. so many questions. That Where you are have, we going? How- yeah, there's so many questions that you have to ask and so many things that you have mm-hmm. to prepare for before actually getting to go somewhere exactly um, and then the second thing that you said that you kind of like said in conjunction with yeah, it's it like was a twofold mm-hmm. multitasking yes that's another huge learning lesson yes. that i would say most parents would really mm-hmm. appreciate because when you're that new parent you have to really juggle so many different things so like you many said things. yeah and wearing many many hats at once and it can feel a little overwhelming at times like we all have our days or moments within the day where i'm like babe i need you to handle this real quick Mm -hmm. i just need like a little break because sometimes it can get overwhelming but you do have to understand that you know becoming a parent it is going to involve multitasking and wearing many hats because like you said when you're your own provider, your own Mm self-soother, all of these things. But then you also have to do those things for a child Mm -hmm. who is totally reliant on you. You know, you're you're giving a lot of yourself and you have to be prepared for that. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's that's huge. And I would say let's just do one more point because we could probably do so many points. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. But I would say another huge point and it's always important in Mm -hmm. relationships or just in general but definitely in parenthood and that's communication. Yes. Good communication because as new parents and as a couple, Mm -hmm. we know that communication is, is extremely important. And Mm -hmm. it's something that we always preach Mm -hmm. when we're talking to couples and trying to make sure that the communication is always good Mm -hmm. between you two. But now when you add a child in there and you add your young one, you're like, all right sorry for the tv break we (laughs) had a crying baby who just woke up and (laughs) hi (laughs) welcome to the channel welcome to the yambors you want to say something not yet not yet but it's coming (laughs) he's gonna go oh (laughs) (laughs) yeah so like i was saying the last point that we really want to express is communication as we know communication is is key and something that we preach for couples all the time. But when it comes to parenthood, that's a whole nother level because it's not just communication between you two anymore. Mm -hmm. Now it's communicating about how to raise your Mm -hmm. son or daughter, Mm -hmm. how to like, what are the things that you want to do on a daily basis? Exactly. What are the daily tasks that you want to accomplish? How do you guys want to handle the night sleeps Mm -hmm. uh, during those first couple of months? Yeah. You know, just preparing all of the different things so that you and your you and your baby, <laughs> you. <laughs> you think you're talking to him? <laughs> so that you, your family, mm-hmm. your relationship, is all in a good standing. Is yeah. all in good standing and all in a happy place. And yeah. And before you before you um, wrap it up, there's yeah. just one more point that I do want to touch that I think is so important. Yeah. One more point that's very important. And it is to as you are managing patients, time management, multitasking and communication, you need to make sure that you make time for yourself. It's so important because while you are doing all of these things, it's very real to experience burnout a lot of people do the way you experience burnout you know professionally you can experience burnout you know with trying to care for um your family and so you have to make sure that a lot of times and we do do it where we pour from empty cups but it's so important to make a little time for yourself because while we're multitasking we're giving up you know we're giving all this time and energy to to other people and other things that we often forget about ourselves Mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that we prioritize ourselves as well because a happy mom, a happy dad is going to equate to a happy baby. It's Amen. going to equate to, you know, you showing up to work happy, you showing up in your marriage or your relationship happy, you showing up for your friends happy, and you show up for yourself happy. And I right. think that's so important that as parents, we're so busy doing so many things that we forget about ourselves and we right. have to make some time for ourselves so that we can show up and be the best version of ourselves for our children, for ourselves, you know, in other areas of our life. 
Amen. I mean, honestly, I really don't have anything to add to that because you said it so eloquently. So with that, we're going to close it out. Yeah, let's close out. Jordan wants to say something. Jordan, you want to say something? You want to say something? Your debut on the camera? Debut on the Yambors? Don't eat it. (laughs) Not yet, but his time is coming. So with that said, we're going to close out. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is the Yambors. And guys, remember to find joy in the journey. So conversations like this, I think, are super important because as new parents, we have to really evaluate ourselves and us as a couple.